Brett Okamoto with ESPN alongside Alex Volkanovsky, who challenges Max Holloway for the 145-pound championship uh, December 14th in Las Vegas, UFC 245. But right now we're out here in New York. Um, did you fly out all the way here just for a press conference? Is that why you're here yeah. today, Alex? Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm here. You know, I was in uh, Thailand, actually. I already had the, the you know, camp, a bit of camp uh, booked over there, Tiger Muay Thai. And, uh, you know, I got told that I had to come here, so I had to get visas sorted and stuff like that while I was over there in Thailand. But we made it here. It's a long way from Thailand to get here, so I got here late last night. Time zones are a bit different, so I didn't get no sleep last night. So you might see a grumpy man on stage today. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of annoyance, or this is this comes with the territory, man. You're fighting for a UFC championship. You expect something like that. Exactly right. You know, they, you know that's how it is. You know, again, at the end of the day, it's promoting the fight, so it needs to be done. And, uh, you know, I get to watch fights. So tomorrow, you know, obviously I stay that extra day and I watch, uh, watch a great card. So it's going to be good. Get to come to New York. So yeah, it's good. It's still early in the camp anyway. So I've got plenty of time. Already fit. So all good. Can you give it, I think a lot of people have sort of learned this about you, but can you give us an idea of you don't stay home for camp? I mean, you leave, you leave the family, you leave the kids. Talk to us a little bit just about what the next five weeks of preparation looks like for you. Yeah, well, I'm always based uh, out of uh, where I live in Wollongong there. Like, I'm based with, with my coach, uh, Joe Lopez, at Freestyle Fighter Gym. So I'm always there all year round. But for my camps, so I do, like, travel a little bit. Obviously, it's a small gym where we are. So I go do go to Thailand here and there. And I, I do a lot of my camps, obviously, at City Kickboxing with the boys over there. So I always finish my camps there. And, and I will be finishing my last four weeks there as well. Um, it is tough. Usually, I bring the family whenever, whenever I can. But having two kids traveling, you know, sometimes it gets pretty hard but but I mean uh, yeah it's uh, just more motivation for me you know what I mean I'm away from my family right now and and this is my work so I, you know I'm not here to you know stuff around I was going to swear then but you know I'm here to you know job needs to be done so I need to be the best I can be especially while I'm away from the home I need to do everything I can to, to better my situation because you know I'm, I, like I said I'm a family man and being away from my family hurts but motivates me so much and that's why I'm going to bring that belt back to him. Nice present uh, to you know finish off the, these sort of camps you know so I get to bring him a Christmas early Christmas present and uh, bring that belt home. Sure. Well, speaking of city kickboxing, you know, they had a pretty darn good event at the, at, at early last month. You got to watch Dan Hooker, Israel Asanya, of course. How difficult was it for you to be sitting there front row and to be watching those fights? Uh, explain the night to me. Yeah, it wasn't, look, it wasn't uh, difficult. Obviously, I knew I was getting the title fight anyway. So, you know, obviously, if I didn't know what was happening and that, was, you know, I probably would have been a bit more disappointed but you know it's always good to fight at home it is but I mean we're going to be on a cracking card so that's all right it was good to watch it was really good to just sit back and watch the boys fight get the wins like they did and you know it was unreal it's good to you know sometimes just sit, sit on the sidelines so tomorrow I'm looking forward to it as well you know what I mean so uh, you know I get to enjoy the, enjoy the fights because being in there it's obviously you've got so much to worry about you're trying to keep yourself composed but um, you know I get more nervous watching fights so when I'm there, especially watching the boys fight down there in Melbourne I was getting nervous as hell uh, you know I'll rather fight any day you know what I mean that's that's sort of how I am fighting's easy so yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty composed type of guy and but watching watching my boys fight in the cage it, it was an unreal like a roller coaster but I loved it it was good good fun like you said, composed. I don't. You don't look like a guy with a chip on your shoulder. But is there any part of you that's still annoyed that said, really, that 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 Max Holloway, Frankie Edgar fight was the reason we couldn't do it in Australia? Is there any sort of annoyance still left over from that whole situation? Ah, uh, look, no, nah, not really. Again, uh, you know, I, I, as I said early in the year, you know, even last year, I said that I wanted to be champion by the, by the end of this year, and I still get to do that. So at the end of the day. You know that I get to tick that, that 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 goal off anyway, so we all good. I'm not too worried about that. Um, and again, it's on a good card, so you know, obviously the world's going to be watching a stacked card, and I get to steal the show. Everybody's beatable, right? But tell me why Max Holloway is beatable. Mate, look, honestly, for for me as well, like uh, stylistically, I've well, I've been saying that I'm I'm the man to do it, and I really do believe that. Um, I think uh, you know I've always knew that a lot of people didn't uh, until you know, obviously he's lost to to Poirier. So you know it's just you know look man again like obviously a lot of people are talking about power and stuff like that and obviously that they, they are factors. Then you got your wrestling, then you got you know your big punching, and then again I'm still I believe uh, we're both two of the highest level uh, fighters in the in our division, and you know we're going to put on a show. But uh, again, I'm the man to do it. Who, uh, who will be traveling with you over across seas to, to witness this on December 14th in Las Vegas? Yeah, we've got a few people, so uh, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. So I, obviously I try not to get too much involved with that because it will be too, too much uh, chaos for me. But uh, it's, it's good. We've got a, f a few people rocking up. So obviously we're going to have a good corner. We're going to have a good team there. We've got obviously Kai fighting as well. So we're going to have a heap of us backstage. And, you know, it's going to be unreal. You know, it's going to be a good, good atmosphere in the, in the locker room. Obviously a good atmosphere when we go out. With the crowd, obviously, I've got a lot of friends and, and family coming. And again, I get to win that belt in front of them and everyone watching back home. 
What's coming up? Three title fights in one card. Really looking forward to it, man. We'll see you out there. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.